Welcome to the tropical resort in Langkawi in Malaysia. We're here for a week. We're going to be exploring this beautiful island and seeing what a tropical paradise is like. This is our lovely little chalet and we just have to walk down the little track here and we're at the beach. This beach is called Pantai Tenga and it's a quiet beach as compared to Pantai Chenang which is the main tourist center. Langkawi is the northernmost part of Malaysia right up by the border with Thailand and uh, it's made up of about 100 islands but only four of them are inhabited. And here is Pantai Chenang Beach Obviously a lot more busy than Pantai Tenga. And at night all the people come out and the whole flavour of the place changes. This is the main island of Langkawi and you can see it's uh, relatively small. Today we're going to look at all the major sites going on a tour right around the island. Much of the island is jungle, the occasional waterfall. Quite special isn't it? No rain for four months so everything is rather dry. This is the seven wells that feed the waterfall and it's part of the uh, water supply for Langkawi. And there are some pretty big mountains sticking up out of the jungle. There's a cable car up there, very famous. So we'll go on that. Quite a long way up there on the cable car, but it's sure to be worth it for the view. You like going in these things, eh? <laughs> this is the single longest cable car in the whole world on one wire only. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and here's what it's like up the top with views over Langkawi. Then you can walk on the sky bridge. get to this sky bridge and when they make you sign a disclaimer that there's no um, no responsibility even if you die you know it's pretty hard work and boy it's hot but we made it and it's going to be worth it I hope well I reckon it is worth it after all there's the cable car and the beautiful views of Langkawi quite an achievement building this thing and it's quite an achievement getting here so you can walk on it. Worth the dollar seventy five. And then back down to the ground. Much easier going down than coming up, <laughs> hey? The economy is very much based on tourism, the lovely beaches, and of course, fishing. And they use quite simple fishing boats. Pretty special, isn't it, eh? Just lovely. One of the big attractions in Langkawi is Underwater World. Get up close and personal with a uh, big beast like this.
This is actually the largest freshwater fish in the world. Not this particular one, but this species. Langkawi has a total population of about 60,000 people. And it's only got one really big city, that's here in Kua. Kua is a typical Asian town, perhaps not with so many people compared to other cities, but it's a mix of the old and the new. And the central meeting place in Kua is called Eagle Square. And the eagle says, Salamat Datang, welcome to Langkawi. Langkawi has been designated as a geopark by UNESCO because of its unique geology and plants and animals. Today we're going to go on the Killam River to have a look at aspects of the geopark. This should be very special because we'll be seeing mangrove forests, caves and all sorts of unique geological structures. First stop is a bat cave to see the native bats. These are limestone caves, stalactite over there, and right on the edge of the mangroves. See the aerial roots there, so the mangroves can breathe when the tide's in. The bats are important because they pollinate lots of different plants. Lots and lots of them up there on the roof. Fruit bats. Gua means cave, Kilawa means bat, bat cave. There are monkeys everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> she just wants to drink. She just wants to drink. She's thirsty. <laughs> I, I hold on this for a while. So these are fish farms. The fish farm, right. So in these fish farms, the fish are farmed in these big pens and fed every day to fatten them up. <laughs> There's a giant trevally, about 30 kg. Quite uh, aggressive, aren't they? Ray. And some of them end up going to the restaurant. This one is called Gua Buaya. Gua again means cave. Buaya is for crocodile. Himsa. Crocodile cave. Anybody fancy for a swim here? <laughs> If you have a good eyesight, look around, something on its branches, they could be snakes, a viper. Aww. A newborn baby. Oh, it's two mother, both female. Oh, and the third one. It's getting closer. Uh -huh. I think it's my... <laughs> you see any sign of food and drink, they will jump into the boat. They, 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 they doesn't care. See those eyes? They're scanning us. <laughs> but it's signs of food or drink. They're just on the lookout for food. And they'll grab anything they can, including water. You shouldn't give them food. It causes trouble. Is it candy? Yes, it's candy. Lang, Langkawi, L-A-N-G, Lang, derived from the word Helang. Helang means eagle. Kawi is Oka. Oka, the reddish brown rock. Also, the, the, the same substance those, the, the cavemen using when they make those drawing in the wall of the cave. I think they, they found a cave in France where inside is a drawing of a caveman. So they use this rock, Oka. 
So Langkawi, orchid eagle, or the reddish brown eagle. Langkawi sits on the Andaman Sea. So all around the island there are these beautiful beaches. And it's a gorgeous place for a swim. How is it going? It's, uh, the water isn't very clear, but it's very nice and warm and refreshing. Very nice. Good. And we finish our wonderful day in the Geo Park with lunch on the floating restaurant. These are sugar babies and they're marsupials, this one here, feeding on the mummy. And they uh, have Pooping. two weeks from conception to birth, then they start again. Sugar babies. Well, we've had a fabulous day here in the Geo Park. You can certainly see why UNESCO has um, specially recognised this place with its unique geology and also with its plants and animals. Fantastic place to visit. Salamat Pagi, which means good morning. Today we're going to go off the main island and go island hopping, looking at some of the smaller islands offshore. Once again, it should be great. This is quite a bumpy ride. Over there is a pregnant woman sleeping. See, a head on the right, the big tummy and the legs on the left. Well, it's not called island hopping for nothing. What's more island bumping? Bang! Bang! But we got here. These islands are all part of the Geo Forest Park. And there's the uh, kind of limestone rocks that just surround us on these islands. So impressive. So here's the rules in the park. Don't start fires, don't make noise, don't feed the animals, don't intimidate the animals, and don't eat. So it should be fun, eh? <laughs> Let's go see. And here we have the largest freshwater lake in Langkawi. This lake was once a great big massive cave and the top fell in and uh, then it filled up with water and up here we've got that uh, pregnant lady. And very nicely set up for the tourists too. More monkeys. Kids love to fight, eh? And off to the next island. Smooth so far. Smoke too soon. And yet another tropical island paradise. They sure do know how to deal with tourists in places like this. So efficient that you appreciate the place so easily. So skillful at manoeuvring the boat. And back home after a nice day out in the islands. The tours that we did here in Lang Kawi were all organised by Envo Marine Tours and they've been great because through the three tours we've been able to see pretty well all the main tourist sites on this island. So it's been fabulous. Lang Kawi is really hot. So we're going to spend a lot of time here in the pool because it's over 30, probably about 35 degrees, gorgeous.
Langkawi has been a lovely Asian place to stay. We've enjoyed being able to get active, but if you want to, you can just lounge around in the pool or the beach. The people are lovely, the place is very, very safe, and generally everything is very cheap and the food is gorgeous. Yes, this has been a really lovely holiday. Uh, we've been to a few Asian places now, and like Langkawi as a, a tourist destination is just great. It's very relaxed, cheap, cost about uh, $8 for a two meals and two desserts. Petrol is about 60 cents a litre. So everything around here is cheap, but it's warm and friendly. And uh, we've been able, through the tours we've done, to see most of the tourist sites. So it's been a lovely, lovely holiday. Just uh, six nights here, fantastic.